One of the great new features for designers that you will find in CS5 is improved text capabilities with the new TLF text engine. The TLF text engine, which is now the default inside of Flash CS5, allows us to do more with typography. As a matter of fact, these are things you're probably used to doing in other Adobe programs, such as InDesign or Illustrator. TLF text now adds capabilities for multi-column text, threading text across multiple text boxes within your movie, just a lot more control over how text appears and works inside of your movie. So let's take a look. To get started, open up the flo2 underscore video dot fla lesson file. And if we take a look at the stage, we'll see there's not a lot going on graphically here, and that's okay. We want to really just focus on the capabilities of text for this lesson. To get started, go over to the right side of your workspace and go ahead and select a text tool from the tools panel on the right. And you'll see as soon as you do the property inspector changes to reflect all of the text options that you have when using this tool. Now one thing you may notice that's a little bit different is at the very top of the property inspector, we now have a drop down menu which allows us to choose between TLF text and classic text. Classic text is actually the name for text capabilities or the text engine of Flash version CS4 and earlier. So there may be cases where you want to use this to be able to be compatible with, uh, let's say, a movie that you're publishing for an older version of Flash Player, or you're working in a file created in an older version of Flash. But for this lesson, we're going to leave the default, which is the new TLF text engine. Now, what you may notice right away is there's just a lot more options over here, and one of those options is actually orientation, so we could set the text horizontal or vertical. And we're going to see a little bit more once we start actually creating some text on the stage. So to get started, we're going to go over to the left-hand side of the stage. And using these guides for a little bit of assistance, we're going to click and drag right here where these two guides meet. And we're going to draw a text box within these guides, just like this, as close as we can, and release. Now go ahead and press the Escape key. What this does is this actually exits the text box, and it returns you back to the text tool. Now if we take a look at the text box that was created, we'll see there's a couple of interesting things going on here. We see the normal bounding box handles in the corners here, which we can use to resize this if we need to. So for instance, if I want to get a little bit closer to this guide, I can just click and drag this bounding box handle at the bottom. Same goes for the right-hand side, and feel free to do this if for some reason you didn't get it as close to the guides as you would have liked to. Now another thing you're going to notice is these two large boxes in the upper left hand and lower right hand corners of your text box. These are what we refer to as the in and out ports, and these basically control the flow of text in and out of this text box. Now that TLF text gives us the ability to thread or flow text across multiple text boxes, we can use these if we have too much text in this box and we can actually take this out port and flow it into another text box. Not sure what we're talking about yet? Well, let's go ahead and put some text in here to actually see what it is that this does. So what we're going to do is we'd like to work with a large amount of text so that we purposely cause this text box to overflow. And to do that, we're going to go ahead to the File menu and choose Open. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go over and navigate to our Lesson folder where you got your FLA file. And you'll actually see there's a text file there called lipsum.txt, and this contains some lipsum text or placeholder text that we can paste into this box. Now, by default, Flash doesn't normally open text files, so what we're going to do is, if we're on the Mac, we can enable all formats, or all files in this case, and you'll see this makes this available. And you should have the same capability on Windows to enable all file formats so that you actually can select this and open it. So we're going to go ahead and choose Open. And this is basically a plain text file, so this will open up as its own tab inside of Flash. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to do Command-A or Control-A if you're on Windows. And we're going to click this tab to return back to our movie. Go ahead and click inside of the text box that you created, and this makes the cursor active again. And then just go ahead and choose Command-V or Control-V to paste this text inside the box.